May 11th, 1818, the Royal Coburg opened in Lambeth. For actors over the next 200 years, there's always been something about this place. Well, I've done uh, three very happy plays here. Um, and, you know, just this whole building is um, steeped in such amazing history. I mean, you can imagine back in the day when Olivier was here, you know, doing great battle scenes and the Shakespearean battles. And you, you can't help but think that, you know, nothing leaves here. Every, you know, there is, there's the DNA probably of everybody who's been here. Some very big names have performed in this auditorium over the years. Vivian Lee was in 12 productions. Richard Burton turned down a million dollar contract to play Hamlet for 150 pounds a week. Laurence Olivier first stepped onto the stage in 1937, and it was one of Peter Hall's favorite theaters. As for Judy Dench. I learned everything I know really yeah. from being here. And it is very, very, very special. To mark the bicentenary, there's a season of world premieres, including Girl from the North Country, which won two Olivia's last weekend. But the theatre has had its troubles too. It's been bought and sold and through the wars. It's like a little fighter, this building. It's this little Trojan horse coming through. I'm not going to be knocked down. I'm not going to be bombed. I'm not going to be a bingo hall. I remember even when I was here rehearsing um, all about my mother and this torrent of water came down into the corner of the rehearsal and we had to get out because the, they hadn't raised enough money to mend the roof. And late last year, there were sexual harassment claims against its former artistic director, Kevin Spacey. There's now a pioneering guardianship scheme to support staff. There are ghosts in the walls of the Old Vic. It's a wonderful, uh, enlivening, enriching place. And that's why we want to do as much as we can to open the doors to people in the local community and in London more broadly to come in. That work that's going on here that, that, will, that will take the Old Vic into the next 200 years. And um, I'm sure it'll, God, I hope it'll still be standing. God, it's, I'm welling up a bit now. Oh, you're getting emotional. <laughs> it's such a wonderful building. It just needs to stay here and carry on. and look to the future, which it is doing. Wendy Howell, BBC London News.